Hi folks, Raspberry Pis are awesome, but having to use a wired internet connection is not always awesome. So today I'm going to show you how we can cut the cord and use this USB Wi-Fi chip. Here's my standard Raspberry Pi setup with two differences. One, I've got uh, no Ethernet plugged in, instead I've got the USB Wi-Fi adapter right here. And the second difference is that uh, running off the 5 volt USB instead of from the computer, I've got it from a powered USB hub, which you need to do for any sort of Wi-Fi application. The USB port from the computer alone can't provide enough power. I'm doing this uh, right now in September 2012. It's based on Occidentalist version 0.2. Uh, I'm using Adafruit's miniature Wi-Fi adapter, part number 814. It's uh, 12 bucks, which uh, I think is a pretty good price. You can download this PDF manual for the whole operating system, uh, which I've got up here with the relevant Wi-Fi section. It's not difficult. There were a few uh, tips and tricks, which I'm going to show you now on the Pi itself. All right, let's log into our Raspberry Pi. And the first thing we'll do is type ifconfig-a. If you're a Windows user, this is sort of analogous to ipconfig. And you'll see we've got three different uh, networks here. The first one would be your hard Ethernet. The second one um, is uh, it, based on the 127.0.0.1 IP, appears to be the local machine. And the third one is WLAN. This is the one we'll want to look at here in a minute. All we need to do to modify uh, the system, operating system, to get the Wi-Fi to work is enter uh, the network name, which is the SSID, and the password. So to do that, we need to modify a file, which we'll do um, assuming you log in like I did, you're not an administrator, so you need to type in sudo first. That lets you edit this file with administrator privileges. Then nano, which is the way to edit the file. And then it's slash etc slash network slash interfaces. Here's the file. We'll scroll down. Where I have red rows, you'll put your own SSID and note that this is case sensitive. I think Linux in general tends to be more case sensitive than Windows. And then where I have password, you'll put your password. And then to uh, exit out of this file, I did a soft reboot, which you can do with the command sudo for administrator, shut down, now, dash r for reboot. At the very top, you can see it listed the IP of 10.0.1.45. Let's take a look at the internet configuration again. And we see the WLAN zero has got RX and TX bytes, so it's sending and receiving, which is great news. You can also take a look at IWconfig. Uh, apparently there's, there's information here if you need for troubleshooting, but most importantly, it works. Let's go ahead and look at Maduri. So there you have it folks, wireless internet on the Raspberry Pi. Just for the final proof, still no cables. A big thanks to the folks at Adafruit for making this so easy to use. I'm super excited to have Wi-Fi capability. Uh, it's for a specific project that I've got in mind, which you'll be sure to see here in the coming few weeks. Uh, the next step for me on that project is getting some motors going. And I've just picked up Adafruit's servo PWM board for the Raspberry Pi. So super excited to get that working. Stay tuned. I'll be sure to have a video up on it soon. Thanks, folks.